Surprise, surprise, surprise. Come on, y'all tune in on this thing right now. I got a surprise live for you guys. I know y'all are preparing for y'all weekend. To God be the glory. We thank God for a miraculous week on this week. But I want to drop something on you guys very, very quickly. So shout out to everybody viewing this thing live. Shout out to everybody that will view this in the future. As always, tag your city, your state, your location. I know y'all see the title. This has been getting on my nerves all day. And I want to release it to you guys because I was trying to move forward um, with some plans and provisions on for tonight. But I can't, I can't. I can't um, go without without doing this live. So God bless each and every one of you. Um, I know y'all see the title. It's called Make Them Earn It. So shout out your city, your state, your location. Let us know where you're watching from all across the world. Listen, listen. Um, God spoke to me. Melvin, what's going on, brother? God spoke to me and he said that um, too many people in your life have easy access. Ugh, okay. Too many people in your life have easy access. What does that mean? A lot of times, here it is, we allow um, people too much access to our life. And we don't even know them that well. We haven't even been in a relationship that long. Um, we haven't even been in friendships that long. We haven't even been colleagues that long. And we allow people too much asset, uh, too much access. I want y'all to do something for me in the comment section. Um, type restricted access. Now, this, this is amazing to me. I was uh, actually passing by a construction site today when God was downloading this thing. And it was crazy because although there were a lot of people that were out there at the construction site, here it is. Although there were a lot of people out there at the construction site, there were only certain people that had restricted access. And God is saying, you have to stop treating everybody like a VIP. Oh God. And, and, and I want to drop this on you because I, I've been seeing this heavy, not just with um, women, but with men as well. You are too, you're, you're too easy. You're too easy. You, you, you give too much too easily, too quickly. Um, you, you love too easily, too quickly. Um, you allow yourself to be vulnerable around the wrong people. And so you got to get to the point where you, uh, you make people earn it. I'm, I'm a true believer in um, people earning their keep. What is it that you're saying? Because you have to get to the point in your life. Listen to me because I'm still getting there. So we can, we can battle this thing out um, together. And so I want you guys to realize this though, seriously, because when you get to the point where we stop being so easy and make people earn it, then we'll see favor like never before. Understand this about favor. Favor, I, I know they say it's not fair and all of those type of things, but understand this. Favor is real funny when it when, when God gets to do anything. God has to make sure that you are separated from some people. God has to make sure that you are able to discern some things before he begins to impart and put favor on your life because what happens time and time again, you're, you're too easy. And another thing is stop trying to get people to know you that don't notice you for who you are. I know that sounds so crazy. It, it'll make sense in a minute. Stop trying to get people to notice you that don't really notice who you are. What are you saying? Because you will go out of your way, and this, especially for um, my women that are on this thing right now. I, I need y'all to understand this. For every woman that's viewing this thing live and will view this in the future, I need you to understand this. Stop trying to get a man to see you. I can't, I can't hit on that hard enough. Stop trying to get a man to see you. Understand this, that that is not your job. That is not your duty. You are not supposed to put yourself in the limelight. You're not supposed to put yourself in the spotlight. But the problem is when you try to, let me be real, because I'm a man. When you try to get a man to see you, what will happen is then he'll see your vulnerability. Oh, then he'll play on your emotions. Why? Because you're putting yourself out there. If some, I, 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 I oh man, I love this so much. I love this metaphor um, so much because they put stuff on a display for a reason. Now, the best of things they don't put on display. Oh, God. The one that holds the most value, they don't put on display. There's, there's a reason why they put the replica on display because they know everybody is going to touch it. Mm, Jesus. Jesus, everybody is going to touch it. It's going to be shiny. People are going to be picking it up. And it sounds like a lot of us with our relationships. Everybody keeps picking us up and putting us down. Everybody keeps saying how they're going to come back and get us. Everybody keeps window shopping with us. But who's really taking the time out to invest in us? And I want you to realize on this thing tonight, you are not to be put on display. Help me, God. Oh, you thought you had to get your nails done for him and, and, and wear these tight dresses and put on all this makeup and do all that just to get a man to notice you when God is saying no, because if he don't notice you and not who you portray and put on to be, then that's not the person that God has for you. Fellas, if she can't notice you for who you are, oh my God, if she don't see you for who you are, then that's not the person God has for you. You are making it too easy for people by putting on. 
Hmm. Make them earn it. The reason why I've messed up a lot of relationships is because I didn't make people earn it. The, the reason why a lot of relationships and friendships and, and all of those things fail because I didn't make people earn it. I let them call me brother. I let them call me sister. I let them do all of these type of things and I didn't make them earn it. And so if you don't make somebody earn it, then they will never realize the value of who you are. Oh my God. Ladies, make them earn it. You can't be so quick to jump in the bed with them, Jesus, because then he'll never value you. Fellas, make her, make her earn it, Jesus. You, you can't be so quick to go spend all your money on it because then when you do it in the beginning, that's, how, that's when it's going to set the precedent on a relationship. So when the money gets low, oh my God, or, or when you go through something and you can't have sex with that person, then they'll leave and go on to the next. Why? Because you didn't value yourself from the beginning. Matt, what's going on, brother? I love this. I love this so much because I need y'all to understand this. Um, ooh, Jesus, every store you go to, oh God, I, I love this. If you go to a, a major retailer, there is no bargaining. Oh my God, there, there is no bargaining. There, there, there is no lead way. There, there is no discounts. There is no, um, when you, when you get there, oh my God, when, when you get there, then we'll work out a price. We'll negotiate a thing. No, if you go to any major retailer before you walk into the store, the price is already set. Oh God. The problem is we're trying to set the price as we go along. Oh, well, if they do this, I'll do that. No. No, if, regardless going into the thing, they got to do it. Oh, if, if they buy me this, then I'll do that. No, you got to learn how to make people earn it. You're too easy. You're, you're too accessible. Jesus, help me right now. I know it's spring break. I know you didn't have a little time out. I know the rodeo is going on, but that's not enough to get you to compromise everything you've been working for. Oh, God. I, I, I know, I, I know you've been celibate for a while and you've been seeing everybody else in their relationships, but that shouldn't be enough to make you compromise because I promise you it's worth it. God did not bless us until we became celibate. God did not bless us until we put a value on ourselves and what we wanted. But the problem is you're too busy negotiating with people. And if you got to negotiate, you know that ain't the person for you. Mm, Jesus, understand this. Watch this. The enemy, who he was not trying to kill Eve, the snake, the serpent. He didn't want to kill Eve. All he wanted her to do is diminish her value by stepping out of her role. Y'all don't like it. Y'all don't like it. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm, I'm trying not to go crazy. Y'all got to help me. Who? The enemy, all he wanted Eve to do, here it is, is to step out of her position because if she steps out of her position, then she diminishes her value. Oh, man. And you got to be careful with people that want you to compromise because if you compromise, then you're diminishing your value. My brother said something. Matt, what's going on? I, I know I keep shouting out because he blessed me with this. He said, listen, you're not walking in the Gucci store telling them people what you're going to pay. Either you're going to buy their merchandise or you're not. Now, the, now, the flip side of that, you can go get an imitation. Uh-uh. You got to learn how to tell people you can go get an imitation. But if you want the real thing, you're going to have to pay for it. Oh, you can go get another girlfriend, but if you want a wife, you're going to have to pay for it. Oh, my God. You can go get another boyfriend, but if you want a husband, you're going to have to value this thing. And the problem is we letting people, oh, my God, pick up the value as they go when you got to set the precedent from the beginning. No more easy access. Ah, I'm sitting there, Jesus. And when they have executive meetings, now they'll have a meeting where everybody shows up. But there's something called an executive meeting where only special people get an invitation. Mm, Jesus. Oh, God. And see, the problem is you treat everybody like they VIP. Mm. Every man you meet, you treat them like he VIP. He ain't even did nothing. Told you, you, told you you was beautiful on Facebook. Liked a couple of your pictures on Instagram and now you're in the bed with them. And can you see the revolving door that you keep walking through? And I'm only telling you this because I've been there before. Where I didn't place a value on myself. Where I thought I had everything going on. And I said, God, why is it that I keep walking out of one fight and I get into another relationship and it's the same fight. And I get out of that situation and then it's the same fight with another one. And God is saying, I'm not going to allow you to progress until you conquer this thing. Hmm. Somebody shout, it's levels. Jesus. It's levels. Understand this. Understand this. 
A snake, oh God. A snake will literally, he doesn't have to bite you to use you. Oh my God. The bite comes after he knows he can't use you no more. Think about it. Everything was going good in the relationship. Sleeping together, right? Doing all these things, playing husband and wife. Come on, don't, don't get bougie on me now because we didn't all been there. And everything was going good while you were doing these things. But the moment you tried to pump the brakes after you had already done it, then the dysfunction came. You want to know why the dysfunction came? Because we didn't do it right from the jump in the first place. Oh, you, you, you want to know why? Because th th that's when the enemy bite. Oh, my God. That's when he started cheating. That's when she started doing all kind of other stuff. Why? Because you didn't set the precedent in the beginning. Oh, my God. And when the enemy can't, when the enemy can't benefit off you feeding him anymore, when the enemy can't benefit off using you anymore, that's when he bites you. Oh. A rapper said it was all good just a week ago. I know that's some of our testimony. It was good a week ago. What happened? Well, what happened was you tried to do things the right way. But, but oh my God, I come to tear down every fundamentally, oh my God, illegal foundation there is. Because what happens is if you want it to be right, we got to rip it from the surface. Oh, Jesus. If you want it to grow, we got to start all the way over again. It ain't nothing wrong with digging it up and starting over again. Hmm. Because when you bow fruit out of dysfunction, then everything that falls from the tree will be dysfunctional. I'm going to say that again because y'all act like y'all didn't hear that. If, oh my God, if, if you bow, oh my God, from a, if you bow a tree from dysfunction, then every fruit that falls from it will be dysfunctional. I'll prove it to you. You got to uproot that thing. You have to start over. But the problem is, oh, too many people got access to you. It's, it, it's too easy for them. You got to make somebody work for it. I'm a, I'm a firm believer that you got to work for it. You got to work for it. Come on. Come on. Somebody just shout, I'm not going to be that easy in this season. I'm not going to be that easy anymore. Oh, my God. And you know where it starts? As soon as you get off this live, block them. Block them. The one that always hit you up on Friday night around 9.45, tennis, block them. Ah. The, the one that you know got a wife, the one that you know got a girlfriend, the one that you know ain't doing right, the one that you know is in everybody's inbox, block him. I don't care how convenient it is that he tell you that you cute, you know you cute. Ugh. I don't care that she tell you that you handsome, you should know that already. So I don't have to put on for somebody when I know who I am, take it or leave it. It's not up for discussion. It's not up for negotiation, take it or leave it when I know who I am. Oh my God, you telling me these things are not going to get me out of my comfort zone. When I respect what the path that I'm on, you pushing these stuff off, you trying to get me to compromise will, will make me cut you off. Because I know where I'm going and I know what God has promised me. I know it's funny to some of y'all, but I need you to realize this because what happens is it's going to forever be a revolving door. Why do you want to talk to us about this now? Because I'm trying to get you out of the trap that had me bound for five years. Ugh. See, they're not going to tell y'all that. They're not going to tell y'all that. But I'd rather be truthful with you because everybody always asks, you, everybody always asks me this. How did you get to that point of, of marriage and it seemed like y'all got everything together and everything was running? It only came when I stopped compromising. It only came when she stopped compromising. It only came when we said, I'm going to put a value on myself. I'm going to stop settling because when I settle, then I'll never reap the full benefit of who I am. Oh, Don't lie to me because right now you're feeling like it's more. Hmm, you feeling like it's more than what they're giving. Yeah, you feeling like it's more than what they're offering. Stop settling. That's what the company that you're in. Now, I know you got to get bills paid, but work on your business plan. I, I, I know the kids get hungry. I understand that you got obligations and stuff you got to, to, to take care of, but that should not be causing you to compromise. And if it's causing you to compromise, then it'll never be a blessing to you. It'll always be a burden. Hmm. That man that's causing you to compromise, the woman that's causing you to compromise, the supervisor that's making you compromise. It'll never be a blessing. It'll always be a burden. So I need you to stop, stop being so easy. Stop just going with the flow. Stop saying yes to everything and you know it's wrong. Stop just, oh man, I, I don't know why I see this. Stop just laying there and taking it. Oh God, because he has more for you. Listen, everything, I love this. Everything. 
must be done in decency and in order. Ain't nothing decent than somebody not respecting you. Ooh. Ain't nothing decent about somebody coming and going out of your life as they please. Ain't nothing decent and in order about being easy because I learned this about something being easy. If it's easy, then it's not going to be worth it. Mm. If it's easy, then the value won't be good on it. Because if it's easy, what is basically saying it, if it's that easy, anybody can get it. And I don't want nothing that everybody can have. I don't want nothing that everybody is doing. I need something that is divine from God. But it's only going to come when I stop being so easy. It's only going to come when I put a value on myself. It's only going to come when I realize that here it is. God is not setting me up to settle. Hmm. Jesus, stop being so easy. Listen, if you know she talking to more than just you, that's not the husband. That's not the wife. If you know, huh, you, he, he, you're not the only one that he's in a relationship with or engaged with him, and he keep telling you he want to be friends, but he still want to sleep together. And, and she keep telling you that, you know, that she want to be with you, but she really don't want a commitment right now. That's not the one that God has for you. Ha! Huh. And it might not be your season of being in a relationship, but that don't mean it, it's your season of being in the bedroom either. Jesus, it might not be your season to be in a relationship, but that don't mean it's your season to be sleeping with everybody either. See, the problem is we don't wait on God and we do our own thing until God show up. And then we wonder why it keeps getting delayed. We wonder why it keeps getting denied. We wonder why it's not happening. And God is saying, when are you going to get to the point where you stop compromising and you wait on me? If you wait, I'll give you strength. You can't build your strength up and keep sleeping with him. Oh, I'm not going to do it next time. It'll always be the next time. But when you say, no, stop it right here. I don't want to lose another blessing. Oh, my God. Jesus. Oh, no matter where you are in life, it may not be on a relationship level right now. But that does not mean you compromise until the relationship comes. That does not mean that you play in the, that, that don't mean you play in the pond until it's time to get in the sea. Oh my God, that don't mean you keep, you keep swimming in shallow waters and, until it started rising up. No, you got to get strategic about this thing. Help me God. You, you got to get strategic about this thing and say, I'm not going to settle. Mm, I'm not going to compromise. And I, I know it's, listen, I know, I know it's not easy because the, the scripture says that the flesh is weak. Ugh. The flesh is weak and we all get that. But when you get to that point, that's when you got to close the phone. Uh, when you get to that point, that's when you got to cut the TV off sometime and just go lay before God. Listen, listen, I'll tell you, I'll tell you straight up. I love it. Love it. And if it didn't feel good, you wouldn't do it. Y'all don't like this real talk. I know they, the saints didn't logged off right there. If it didn't feel good, you wouldn't do it. Oh. But sometimes, oh, here it is. Sometimes your feelings can be stopping your favor. Sometimes your emotions can be diminishing your anointing. Oh, help me God right here. Because I know, I, I, I know it feel good. Yeah. Because if it didn't, you wouldn't even do it. But um, imagine the feeling that comes after it. Imagine when you wake up the next morning. Yeah. Imagine 30 to 45 minutes later when he got to go back home to his wife. Oh, my God. Imagine 30, 45 minutes later when she don't even remember your name. Oh, my God. Imagine doing all of that and then the next thing you know, you on the block list. Yeah. And, and the reason why it keeps happening is because you ain't went strategic yet. The reason why it keeps happening is because you ain't allowed God to come in on that thing yet. And when he comes in, I'm telling you, you'll see favor like never before. But you, God said you got to give me something first. One of my favorite scriptures says, return unto me and I'll return unto you. You know what that means? When I begin to give God more, yeah, then he'll ask, seek ye first the kingdom. Oh, not the bedroom. The, now, it says, seek ye first the kingdom, not the condom. Oh, but, but the kingdom, yeah. The, the, the kingdom is at hand, yeah. Yeah, I need you to understand that on today. Because I know it's Friday and the devil always gets busy on the weekend. You want to know why? Because you're tired. And you need a little release. Oh, my God. Let's be honest on this thing. Y'all know we completely transparent. Let's be honest on this thing. I know it's the weekend and I know you've had a long weekend. You just need somebody to rub your back. Oh, my God. But it'll, it, it'll go from the back to something else. Y'all don't like me on this thing. Yeah. You, you, you just need somebody to hang out with. But it, it'll go from hanging out to doing a whole bunch of to waking up the next morning. Yeah. But it, it, it comes a point in life where you say, God, I want the next level. 
Yes, God, God, this was good, but this ain't enough. Mm, dating ain't enough for me. Oh, my God. A boyfriend and a, and a girlfriend ain't enough for me. God, I want more. Is there anybody prayer? Is there anybody prayer? I want to talk to y'all. Yeah. Oh, Jamika, don't do that. I want to talk to y'all on tonight. They say, God, I want more. God, I want more. Come on, whose prayer is that on tonight? God, I want more. And I, I realize that if, if I'm going to get more from you, that means I got to, oh, that means I got to do less of me. Help me, God. God, if I'm going to get more of you, that means I got to give less of me. God, if I'm going to get more of your favor, that means I got to give less of my flesh. Yes. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. So I hope this bless somebody. I hope this, I hope this helps somebody. I, I really share this, bless somebody with it. I just want to get on here and talk to you guys that's been following, but I need y'all to understand is that the flesh gets weak on the weekend. I know it's even tougher on the weekend than it is throughout the week. So don't settle. Don't let it be. Don't, don't be so easy. Set a standard, set a value and stick to it. Because when you stick to it, I promise you, God will bless in a major way. Wait on him. Wait on him. I know that sounds so easy, but if y'all know our testimony and what we've been through, then you will realize that it's a blessing in waiting. Shout out because I, I have my favorite person on a shirt. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I have my favorite person in the whole wide world. On, on a shirt. I, I love her so much. I put her on my shirts, guys. So God bless you. God keep each and every one of y'all. Love y'all. To God be the glory. Keep pushing. Pray, prepare, praise until something happens.